So this is the GTX 980. I've got the ACX 2.0 cooler off. I'm about to add a EK water block. There's the original. Here's the current PC. Can't really see much in there, but it's got an AMD uh, 8 core in there. It's got a 780 classified with a EK water block overclocked to 1401 megahertz. But basically, all you're going to do is take out <coughs> every one of these screws. And then you're going to have your two connectors here after you remove your screws. Make sure you pull it up slightly. Disconnect those. Then you'll have it apart. I'm going to take a quick little break here. Just clean off that thermal paste. And I'll be back. Alright, so we're back. Got all the uh, old thermal paste there cleaned off. Next, we'll be applying new thermal paste on the GTX 780 uh, to clean it and just use Q-tips, 91% uh, isopropyl alcohol and uh, just some good quality paper towel and a can of dust just to make sure there wasn't no paper towel residue or anything left on these little pins around here uh, next I'll put the thermal paste on there let you see how that looks and then we'll be putting on the uh, the new EK water block on the GTX 780 alright so now we have applied the new thermal paste we have removed this cover here, which was just set down. If you remember, it was over it like this. We just pulled it off. It's got all the thermal pads still on there. We're gonna go ahead and apply the new thermal pads that came from EK. be over the VRAMs, the MOSFETs, and the drivers. Down through here, across through here. Alright, so we got all the thermal pads in here. Should be good to go. Get the thermal paste on the and like I said we just follow the directions there. They come with the EK water block. Pretty self-explanatory. And like I said, you can also look back at the what came from EVGA as reference. <coughs> uh, they also recommended putting thermal paste underneath the thermal pads, which I did with the applied thermal paste from EK. Uh, next we're just going to double check everything one more time make sure I didn't miss any thermal pads or anything and then we will be putting the water block which is here onto the graphics card. Uh, the only other thing you will have to cut the thermal pads but there's little lines on there it's kind of and so you just cut on those and remember to take off both sides of the, uh, the double tape there. You don't want to leave that on there. Uh, but I will 
reassemble and show you what the finished product looked like. Alright, simply set the water block on there. Now all we have to do is uh, flip the assembly over. screws and as you can see we start with the ones around the GPU first then we'll do that one that one and then we'll put in the rest of them with the provided screws and washers from EK alright as you can see we now have the water block the EK water block installed on the GTX 780 or excuse me GTX 980 and in this system I'm uh, actually putting in uh, dual water cool 980s and so I will be putting together the next GTX 980 with the EK water block.